What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video, episode 32, Six Scale News. Let's get started. That's right guys, we're back with episode 32 of Six Scale News. Hope you guys are excited about this. It's been a fun, it's been a fun 2021 so far. It's been interesting. Six Scale is just going crazy. It's crazy, uh, but I do have some. Uh, I gotta click this button. I do have. I have some bad news for today's episode, and I'm not sure how to break this. But uh, I might as well just come out and say it. Um, I, I I don't have my book for this episode. I, I left it at, at work. I was taking notes, and I left the book at work. So I even feel bad doing the episode without the book. So I hope you guys will forgive me. So I had to take notes uh, on my iPad here, and uh, so here we go. We're gonna do the episode. Anyways, if you guys don't know about the book, it's got like everything in it. It's got everything. So if you do know about the book, hashtag the book. But let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you're having a good new year so far. It's been kind of crazy. So let's get into some heat. Now, first, before we get, actually, I'm gonna get into some heat. Before, I have a question for you guys. I literally just bought this yesterday. This is my tangent for the video, okay? And there might be another one, I don't know. Uh, but is, it, is anybody out there reading this book? Is anybody reading this thing? Uh, the Light of the Jedi from the Star Wars new uh, The High Republic. I just picked this up this weekend. Haven't had a chance to open it up, but I'm super excited about it. Uh, and I'm curious if anybody out there has read this. No spoilers in the comment section. No spoilers. Uh, but how many people are reading this and picking this up? And how? It, actually, I just noticed it matches my short trooper. So it's got to be good, right? So anyways, cool book. Uh, I'm looking forward to picking that up. Uh, and reading it over the next uh, week or so. So um, let's talk about this Shore Trooper. It happens to be right here on the table. I actually did an unboxing review of the figure I've owned for four years yesterday. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link right up here for you guys for that. Uh, but the Shore Trooper from 2016 actually uh, released in 2017. Uh, super exciting stuff though. I, if you've paid attention to Six Scale News over the past few weeks, I think I've been like hinting at this for about a month. Uh, and um, yeah, so I've, I've kind of hinted at it in little different videos and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, we actually got two new releases from Hot Toys or announcements from Hot Toys uh, for Shore Troopers. And it's, it's very interesting. I've been watching the Facebook groups. I've been watching uh, the Reddits and, the, and the, the people all salty about this. The price of this guy is just going through the roof. Uh, Hot Toys announces that we're going to get a grunt from the Mandalorian. And then we're going to get a squad leader from Rogue One. Uh, both of them in the U.S. about $230 plus your taxes and shipping and all that kind of stuff. And um, it, it's been interesting. So many people have pre-ordered these these guys, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Uh, super excited about it. Uh, I will definitely be getting multiples of these guys. Uh, I'm not having decided on the exact number yet. I haven't dove like head first like I did with the uh, the five of first deluxes where I ordered six of those, and I will end up getting more. Uh, but uh, I, I will definitely be getting multiples. I'd love to hear from you guys how many of each you might be getting. Maybe it's one of each, or you can't decide which one you want to get, uh, the squad leader or the grunt. Uh, both of them, uh, I think, are fantastic. After looking at the photos, I'm kind of leaning towards the grunt, like army building those a little bit. Maybe get two or three of those guys and one squad leader. The grunt, uh, just without the blue, I think looks cool. I've already got this blue guy where the squad leader's got a bunch of blue on him. The grunt doesn't have any blue on him. I think that looks cool. I don't know, but i uh, love to hear from you guys uh, what your thoughts are on that. Uh, but the question has been floated out there. Uh, what's, what's that gonna do to the value of this guy? And, and I think I know what the answer is. This guy's gonna continue to go up. I, I just, I don't see it dipping. And the reason being, it's different. It's a different paint job. It's still rare. This guy is still rare. If you didn't pre-order him and you didn't buy him back in 2016, 2017, you're paying, you're paying the price. It just is what it is. So if you have to have this guy, or you have to be the completionist and you have to get all of the variants, then you're gonna end up paying up for this guy. Don't see him going down. I don't care how long you wait. There's just not enough of these to go around. Supply is way low. The demand is way high. Uh, therefore, we've got a, a crazy price. Uh, it's a beautiful figure. Is it worth $600? It might be to you. Um, you know, I, I don't really like paying double, triple value, uh, retail value on figures. I, I don't, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there that, that do that, which is fine. Uh, I would personally would rather take the $500 that, or $600 whatever this guy would cost on the secondary market and buy one of each of the ones they just announced. I think that's a better financial move. 
uh, than dumping the money on on the on the captain here. That being said, if that's something you want to do, the price is going to stay up here. Like I wouldn't sell mine for 500 bucks, 600 bucks. I, I'm not selling mine. It's not for sale. But uh, and there's a lot of people out there like me uh, that just want to. They just love Rogue One. And even though that grunt is going to be in the Mandalorian line, uh, it's definitely going to be on the Rogue One shelf. Which brings me to the next thing. What other figures are we going to get from the Mandalorian that belong in Rogue One? Like, I was looking at this, I was like rearranging my collection back here. And I got the Death Trooper, which I did an unboxing video on uh, as that as well. You can check that out up there if you want to. Um, I did that one. We've got other kind of troopers. We definitely saw some uh, clean uh, Rogue One style troopers in the Mandalorian. We saw a Death Star gunner. Like, that was crazy. Um, we, we saw all kinds of, uh, of different characters and, and troopers in uh, the second season of The Mandalorian. So what other figures are we going to get? I Currently, I don't, hear, I don't know of any rumors or spy news or anything like that that's going on uh, as far as that goes. Um, but just hopes and dreams and predictions. Um, I, I would really like to see a tank trooper, even though that wasn't really The Mandalorian. It's kind of a rogue one. Um, but I would love to see the tank trooper. That would be sick. Where's Baze Malbus? Where's Cassian? Where's all those? How I many I'd like to see those guys? Um, but I, I was uh, I was looking at my I was rearranging figures. You guys know I do these videos and I bring out all these figures. And I'm like I gotta put them back on the shelf somewhere. And uh, I noticed that I was starting to like take my Rogue One figures and put them on my Mandalorian display because they're kind of crossover figures. It's kind of cool what Dave Filoni and, and uh, John Favreau are doing. Uh, they're mixing up uh, the the canon and it's freaking beautiful it's gorgeous I, I, I love it so super excited about what they got going on so um i don't know we'll see how that goes along i, I would love to see a tank uh, driver i think that would be pretty sick um but yeah there's shore troopers so that's um that's the announcements for this week now there's some spy news i'll drop you at the end uh this this the morning Hot Toys decides they want to get into the merch business, which I'm all for. Uh, they're dropping some hats. I will definitely be getting one for myself. Um, and uh, they're like 70 bucks. I think Sideshow had them on their site. They're like it's a $70 freaking hat. It's got a Hot Toys logo on it. Are you guys gonna get one of those? I I'm just crazy enough to buy one. Um, I don't know. Did we need a one-to-one -one scale hat? I mean, do can we can we get? This is a legitimate ask. Can we get a 1-6 scale Hot Toys hat so like Deadpool could wear it? That would be sick. I, I, I'd be down with that. It'd be cool. So Hot Toys make that happen. 6 scale hat uh, for Deadpool or any other figure. I don't know. But <laughs> that would be cool. I was wondering if anybody would be picking up. That's an expensive hat, honestly. By the time he gets 80 bucks, 90 bucks, that's, a, that's an expensive hat. So you got to really be like a Hot Toys fiend uh, to pick one of those up. Uh, clearly, I qualify for that, so uh, I'm going to be getting one. Um, so there's the hat. The hat's cool. Um, also, at Sideshow, now shipping. I'm starting to see emails. People are posting them in the Facebook group. By the way, welcome to the, like almost 600 people that have joined uh, the Patrol Facebook group in the last three days. It's been crazy. You're wearing my moderators out. They're like, I can't approve all these people. It's insane. So uh, thank you if you're new to the group. Uh, welcome and if you're not link down below you can blow up my moderators with join requests and that's cool make sure you answer the questions though answer the questions only two um but uh shipping at sideshow asajj ventress mythos statue yes mine is here i have the giant box way over there if you, i posted it on instagram uh this morning it is humongous and if in case anybody's wondering i got number 614 out of 4500 so the mythos Asajj Venture statue will be featured here on the channel. I will do an unboxing video, you guys. As soon as I figure out where the hell I'm going to put that thing, it is humongous. Also shipping from Sideshow, Nebula. Obviously, Nebula's been shipping out. Uh, I actually did an unboxing video of that one. That is a beautiful figure, guys. If you're a Guardians fan, Marvel fan, Nebula, not one to sleep on. I predict that when that one actually does sell out, she's going up in value. It's just one of those characters like Yondu, so one of those one-off characters that they're just not going to make a ton of. And uh, I predict that one's going to go up. However, right now, right now, she's down here on the price you know, level. You can get her for a relatively good price. In fact, Pop Collectibles, uh, I think somebody picked up her from Pop Collectibles for like $240 shipped. So the Marvel market right now is kind of low, but I'm telling you, 
nothing sells out and Marvel flips the switch and we get some Marvel hype going on here, she's gonna be way up here. So if you're on the fence with that and it's in your budget, you might wanna uh, hit up Pop Collectibles and see if uh, you, they can hook you up. Uh, Gamora is also starting the ship now from Sideshow. And so that's pretty exciting. Uh, she's been out obviously overseas and now uh, people are starting to get those emails like coming soon, you know, pay off your figure, that kind of stuff. Uh, so Gamora is coming in and, and just today, just to, for you guys here in the States that have been waiting on the Deluxe Beskar Mando with Child, if you've been waiting on that figure, uh, today, uh, Sacho actually had their unsealed and reveal with Guy Clender. They unboxed that figure, which tells me that it will be arriving soon. So I would say in the next 30 days or so, if you pre-order that with Sideshow or any other stateside retailer, you're going to start seeing those emails pop up going, hey, your figure is arriving soon, probably in the next 30 days, which is super exciting because I've had that figure for a month now, two a month and a half, however long it's been. And I'm super excited for you guys to experience all the awesomeness that is the Lux Mandar, a uh, Mandar, <laughs> Mando um, figure. Um, yeah, it was actually my number one figure of 2020. And so all you guys that pre-ordered that, uh, I'm just excited for you because it is absolutely beautiful with all the accessories and the the chi the two child, uh, two Grogu figures and just everything about it is awesome. So um, super excited for you guys. Stay tuned for that. If you want to pre-order those, I'll put links down below if you haven't already done so. Um, but there is some interesting stuff. So this this week alone has been kind of crazy. So we got the short trooper announcements, we got a hat announcement. Also at Sideshow, we've seen some warning signs where the OG Mando, the Durastil Mando, is about to hit wait lists. And how do we know that? Well, if you go to pick up the OG Mando at uh, Sideshow and you put in your card, it gives you a, that five minute warning that uh, it's about, you know, you have five minutes to check out with it or it's gonna be taken out of your cart. Uh, when you start seeing that, that means their stock levels are draining and we're gonna hit wait list very soon on the best, I'm sorry, the Durasteel armor uh, Mando. Guys, if, if, if you think you might want that figure, pick it up. I mean, really, it's, you're not, you can't lose money on that figure. You can't lose out, you just, it's, it's gorgeous, uh, it really is. Uh, and if you guys actually pick up anything from Sideshow, use my links down below, it does help out the channel. Um, and doesn't cost you anything. So, OG Mando is about to get a wait list. And also, for you DC fans, I know there's one or two DC fans out there, uh, Two-Face is about to go wait list as well. After, this is a 2019 SDCC exclusive. And we're in 2021, and it's just now about to go to waitlist. You had plenty of time. If you miss out on Two-Face, it's your own damn fault, because honestly, you had a year and a half. Now, that's going to be one of those things that it'll be like the Dark Side Anakin. Like, once it finally sells out, everybody's going to like, oh my god, they're going to have it. And they're going to be all pissed off because it's $700, and I'm like, you know. Here's your warning. If you want it, go pick it up. That's, my, that's what I'm going to say about it. I will not be picking that one up. Um, for obvious reasons, so there's that. However, however, the spies, there, there might be some spy news that might influence your purchase of that Two-Face figure, okay? So uh, we kind of been talking about this for about a month or so. It's been, I feel like it's been about a month. Um, and the spies are kind of roaming around here and we saw last month we actually got the DX-19 Batman and the Batpod announcements. Uh, those have been put up for pre-order uh, for anybody who wanted one. I will be getting both. I'm getting the Batman and the Batpod because that's what we're doing. We're reviewing everything. Um, but Batman is nothing if he does not have a villain. And so I would stay tuned for a special DC announcement in the next little bit. I don't know if it's this week. I don't know if it's next week. But um, something is the high probability uh, of we're gonna get, uh, he's gotta have a villain. So, you know, call it what you want. Um, it's gonna be a thing. So will that impact your Two-Face purchase from Sideshow, depending on how you want your display to look? It might, it very well might, I don't know. DC fans. Um, so there's that. I am curious what your thoughts are on that, by the way. Are you excited about that? I mean, Batman's got to have a villain. There's only one villain, really, that Batman needs to have to be Batman. So, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not even going to say his name. He who shall not be named. Um, so, there's that. We're also going to see, if you looked at the 
uh, release photo that Hot Toys dropped back in December, last week of December, early January. Uh, they had all those figures on there. Uh, there were some predictions that the next two figures coming out are gonna be either Hellboy, which honestly, I don't know why they're hold off on that one, either Hellboy or Quantum Suit Tony Stark. So one of those two. Now, I think the Quantum Suit Tony Stark is gonna be an interesting figure. I, I, they've teased this with the Captain America, um, but I don't, I don't, are we only gonna get Tony Stark if, if that's the only one they release, they actually release. Number one, what head sculpt is it gonna have? That'll be interesting. Uh, number two, how would you display it if he's the only one? How many people are buying this figure? Well, I mean, unless you just got an Iron Man, like, I don't know. What do you, what do you do with this thing? I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna review it, I'm gonna check it out and I'll probably keep it on, in the collection, but uh, it would be way cooler if I got a cap to go along with it. And a, I'd like the whole team, uh, the War Machine, I don't think we're gonna get that, but that would be a cool like Toy Fair exclusive. Would be kind of cool um, to see that. Um, maybe they're holding off for that. I don't know. Uh, but I would expect to see a Quantum Suit Tony uh, very soon uh, or a Hellboy. Or they might interchange and one might come before the other or whatever, but I expect to see those very soon. Um, and then possibly, possibly also in the next little bit, um, the quarter scale Spider-Man uh, with the giant vulture diorama base. So those are some potential releases here uh, coming up soon. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's the spy news. Guys, short episode for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, please do so. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know half of you watching this have not subscribed and it doesn't cost you anything. And we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers. Super excited about that. Uh, big goals, big things, and um, yeah. Thanks for all you guys have done. We've had a crazy amount of people joining up here recently. As always, click what you like. See you next time.